Today, we are exploring different base map tile options in Python Folium. We'll check out Folium's built-in tile set options, change tile sets by passing a leaflet URL, and conclude by using the XYZ services Python library to get base map tiles via API. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, I'm going to try a different pace today and start with a fresh Jupyter Notebook. So we'll start by importing Folium, and then we're gonna make a basic map. I want to use the lat long that we've been working with in Chicago. These are the lat latitude longitude we've been using for the other tutorials. So we'll use that and let's go ahead and run that. So we got our basic map here, Chicago. All right, so now we want to change the base map here to something different. We can use the built-in tile sets on the Folium website. So I copy and paste this URL. It's Folium, documentation, user guide, raster layers, tiles. And we have OpenStreetMap, which is the default. We've got CardoDB and CardoDB Dark Matter. So let's go ahead and use both of those. Copy and paste this in and gone. Let me go ahead and copy and paste this down. And let me make this a little neater. Now I'll go ahead and copy and paste this in and run it. And you'll see that we have a different base map. Same thing with the Cardo DB Dark Matter. We'll just comment out the previous one we used and run this Dark Matter one. You'll see that. So there's a couple of default options that Python Folium already has built in with um, this attribution here on the bottom available. Next, we'll go to passing a leaflet URL and we have to include the attribution or it won't work. We can look at what the different leaflet providers, leaflet providers preview URL. And so we have all these options here. You can kind of just click them here and look at what's available. And you'll see that this information here will update every time you do it. So let me go to the Python Folium documentation at the getting started page. And you'll see it has some instructions here for, for how to do it. We're going to use this template here. Template is folium.map. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy and paste a previous code. And let's get rid of get rid of these two. Uh, let's go back to our leaflet provider demo page. And let's say that we want to try this open topo map. Okay, so we're going to try this open topo map. Back in our Jupyter Notebook, the required parameters we'll need are the tiles and the attribution. So if I go back to our leaflet provider demo, our tiles parameter is going to be the URL, which is this guy right here. So I'll copy that and paste it in. And then our attribution is going to be this information right here. Copy it, and it's kind of past our cell, but let's go ahead and run it. And you'll see that we have a different base map from the open topo map. And down here we have some attribution, map data, open street map, contributors, SRTM, open topo map. And that's all stuff that, oops. And that's all stuff that you'll see in the attribution that we copied over. So let's do one more example of that. I'll just copy and paste this code right underneath in the next cell. And I'll just get a different example. Let's do something that looks kind of significantly different. Let's try this Thunder Forest Transport Dart. So again, for our tiles, we're going to need the URL that's located right here. Uh, this one needs an API key. Um, we might not. Might have an issue with this one. Don't have an API key. Hmm, no worries, we'll try it anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it. Um, I don't have an API key and I didn't prepare one, so I'm just going to try a different example. This will work if you pass the API key parameter and I guess I'll do that in a different video. So let's go and find one that doesn't require an API key. What's this? Jog dark. That also requires an access token. Let's try Esri World Imagery. Doesn't have any particular access requirements, so we'll copy and paste our URL right there. 
And we'll also copy and paste our attribution. Okay, let's go ahead and try running this one. And there we go. So yeah, now we have uh, an Esri world imagery centered around Chicago, and you'll see we've properly attributed it to Esri. Okay, so uh, you know, this kind of stuff can require a little bit of experimentation sometimes. You might need an API key, but we have now used some of Python Folium's built-in tileset options, and we have also passed a leaflet URL. And one other way that we can do this is by using XYZ services. So what is the XYZ services with Python Folium? Let's find that information here at this URL, copy and paste it. And XYZ services is a lightweight library providing a repository of available services offering raster base map tiles. It's provided via Python API and a, as a compressed JSON file. So this basically allows us to use our URL option through an API. So the first thing we need to do, we need to install it. So we'll use pip install xyz services. And in Jupyter Notebooks, you have to include the exclamation point. So we'll run that. So we've successfully installed it. Then if we go back to the documentation. We'll want to import the xyz services providers as xyz. Um, so I'll go ahead and run that. Once we've done that, we can explore our different options by um, using xyz.keys. So this is where the uh, documentation here isn't quite as straightforward. So let's go back to our Jupyter Notebook and use xyz.keys. And we'll see that uh, it's a dictionary with different providers. So to see what a particular provider would have available, we'll jump down to the next cell and xyz.write the provider's name. For instance, OpenStreetMap, and we'll run that cell. And we'll see that OpenStreetMap has seven different services. Let's go to uh, Hot, Humanitarian. I think Humanitarian OpenStreetMap. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so Humanitarian OpenStreetMap has a tile set available. To use this tile set, we'll use our tiles and attribute parameter as we did in the URL section, just using the information that we have available via the API here. Okay, so let me go up and copy and paste some of our previous code. And remove, clean this up real quick. Okay, so for the humanitarian OpenStreetMap tile set, We'll copy and paste this URL here. And then we'll want to properly attribute it. So we'll use this HTML attribution. And let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so now we have our humanitarian OpenStreetMap tile set. Um, and you can see on the bottom here, it's properly attributed. And so let's try that um, again. This time I wanna use the waymarked trails provider. So if I go to my XYZ keys, we'll see waymarked trails. Let's go ahead and open a new, create a new cell here underneath this one. And I'll run XYZ keys out again. And Make a new cell and we'll do XYZ dot waymark trails. So waymark trails, if you're, you know, an outdoors person, has got hiking, cycling, mountain bike, slopes, riding, skating. Now, if I expand this and I copy and paste my URL and my the attribution, as we did in the previous example, we're going to run into an issue here. where it's not going to run completely the first time around. Almost there, almost there. Let's run it. And we just get a, it runs properly, but we just get a blank map and no attribution down here. Now, why is that? Well, if we give it a little bit of a closer look, we'll see that this time around, 
the information it gave us has this variant parameter here. You'll see that reflected right here. And if you expand cycling, you'll see the same deal. Mountain bike, you'll see the same deal. In this instance, it's expecting you to type in the variant that you want to use. For instance, if I want the hiking variant and I run that again, now you'll see that I actually get information here. And this one's a little more populated over in Europe. So scroll over there real quick. Now, um, if I want to do, say, cycling, for instance, I'll get that. So, you know, it can be a little bit rough around the edges. Uh, you got to kind of figure this stuff out as you go sometimes. That is how you can use the XYZ services uh, via an API to streamline your workflow a little bit. I mentioned earlier in the tutorial that if you don't include the attribution on these custom tile sets, that you'll get an error. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this code we already know works and comment out this attribution. If we do that, we'll get an error. It'll return an error and the value error will be custom tiles must have an attribution. So the built-in tile sets for Python Folium already include the attribution. Um, so you won't get that error, but any of these custom ones that we were messing around with, you have to pass the attribution because it is a required parameter. So that's a brief overview of how you can use the base map tile sets in Python Folium to customize your map and, and you know give it the aesthetic that you're looking for. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe. In the next tutorial, I'll be doing grouping and controlling some more of our um, UI user experience, user interface options and I'll be going back to our Chicago data set and adding some layers so we can toggle those on and off including base maps and different crimes. I will see you next time. Cheers. Hey everyone, Mike here. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. And you are most likely a regular. I tried a bit different of a pace this time around. I left in more space while things were loading or while I was thinking. The result is a longer, less entertaining video, but hopefully still just as educational, maybe even more. I'd love to know your feedback on that. Please let me know in the comments. Cheers.